In this video, we will graph the given log function by hand, as well as give the domain range and equation of the vertical asymptote. We are given y equals log base one half of x. Because this log function fits the form of the basic log function, y equals log base b of x, where x has to be greater than zero, the domain of the given function is the open interval from zero to infinity. And because the output or range for the basic log function is all real numbers, this is also the range for the given function, which using interval notation is the open interval from negative infinity to positive infinity, and the vertical asymptote is x equals zero. And now to graph this by hand, we'll write the equivalent exponential equation using the definition shown here, and then complete the table of values. If y equals log base one half of x, then the equivalent exponential equation is one half raised to the power of y must equal x. So we'll use the exponential equation one half raised to the power of y is equal to x to complete the table of values, but instead of selecting x, we will select y since y is in the position of the exponent. For example, when y is zero, x is equal to one half raised to the zero power, which is one. When y is one, x is equal to one half raised to the first power, which is one half. When y is equal to two, x is equal to one half squared, which is one fourth. And now to find one more convenient point, it might be helpful to recognize that one half is equal to two raised to the power of negative one. So we could use the equation two raised to the power of negative one raised to the power of y is equal to x. Remember when we have powers raised to powers, we multiply the exponents. We can rewrite this as two raised to the power of negative y equals x. In this form, notice how if we let y equal negative two, x is equal to two raised to the power of the opposite of negative two, which is two squared or four. And now before we plot these points, let's sketch the vertical asymptote of x equals zero. X equals zero is the y-axis. And we have one comma zero, which is the horizontal intercept. We have one half comma one, which is here. We have one fourth comma two, which is approximately here. And then we have four comma negative two, which is here. So we know the function passes through these four points and approaches the vertical asymptote, and therefore the graph looks something like this. I hope you found this helpful.